Hello everyone, I'm Buck Weezer. I'm putting the do in a do-it-yourself. Or, as is the case today, I'm putting the redo into redo-it-yourself. Coming at you today with a short video and I sort of have my tail between my legs, so to speak, because the Scott's Lawn Tractor from 1998 is back. A couple of months ago I did a video on how to replace the ground drive belt and the associated pulleys that are part of that system and uh, I thought I did a pretty good job of it but guess what it's back and uh, a couple of the pulleys have failed and belts gotten chewed up in the process I'm gonna take the camera under there and show you but to the best of my ability I think the reason for the failure is my own fault. I had, instead of buying the official John Deere Scott's idler pulleys, which are about 30 bucks a piece, you need three of them, I bought an aftermarket set, three of them for 30 bucks for all three of them, in an attempt to save money. And to the best of my ability, the only thing I can see that failed in the job was those pulleys. I got burnt by some aftermarket pulleys. Let's go under there and I'll show you what happened. And yeah, I guess I know better now, but it's unfortunate. So look, here, here's two, some remains of two of the pulleys. Let's, let's take a peek here. Now the belt's hanging now, of course, and it's kind of chewed up, so I'm going to have to replace it. But I got two pulleys, and two, two out of the three are broken. This guy all the way back here, he's only got the top. The, the bottom half just broke off. It seems like the bearing is good, but the plastic, whatever that composite plastic material is, has not held up. This middle one seems okay, but then this flat idler... It's just chewed up and also in half. You're, you only got half of the pulley up there. And found the other half on the, on the deck, these guys right here. So that's the only thing I can see that could be wrong with this job. Everything else seems to be fine. I think I just did myself a disservice. And I got to redo this job. Well, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to videotape the repair because you can check out the other video if you want. Again, like I said, pretty sure I did the job correctly, but I do want to show you that now I did spend the money and I've got the official John Deere parts. I'm going to leave links in the description where you can get the official John Deere uh, items. I'm going to go back to the other video that I did and I'm going to uh, get rid of that link to the aftermarket three pulleys for one price deal and just put links into the official. So let me take some time to redo this job and uh, then I've got a few other additional thoughts to share with you before I let you go. Well, as you can see, it's we're back in business, and the tractor's running and driving. I showed you the drive belt. Uh, you know, I, I'm still wondering why uh, why the job failed. You know, on this system, that belt's under constant tension at all times. It's not like when you press the the brake pedal, it slackens the belt. I know that's the setup on some, but not on this. 
this is uh, that bell is under tension constantly it, it's never slackened and you know those 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 pulleys and bearings get get hot they're they're, they're turning constantly um, all I can think is that uh, the aftermarket parts that I bought weren't weren't able to handle it and I guess you learn the hard way uh, hopefully we won't see it again um, we went with the official the genuine John Deere Scott's parts and hopefully they're just made to a higher standard to, to deal with it you know the original pulleys on this lasted 20 something years 22 years um, the aftermarket ones about two months so hopefully that's all it is is you know there's times where you can skimp and go with aftermarket parts and other times where it's just not a good idea you know so I had to go pick up the tractor bring it back repeat the whole job now I got to deliver the tractor hang the deck back on um, fortunately I like getting my hands dirty with this stuff but if you're trying to make a living at this which I'm not um, you know that that really starts to eat into your profits I I um I did I did get paid for that job so yeah I'm taking a, a bit of a hit to have to do it again and uh, mostly I just wanted to um, succeed I want the owner of this tractor to be satisfied and be able to cut his lawn without worrying about what's the next thing that's going to break so I'd love to know what your thoughts are uh, have you used aftermarket parts successfully or do you steer away from them entirely? Under what circumstances do you think it's okay to uh, skimp a little and save a little money? Um, this time it came back to bite me, unfortunately. Hopefully it's resolved now with the, uh, the high quality John Deere parts. Your comments and questions are of course always appreciated. Thank you for watching my video and uh, I'll look forward to talking to you and seeing you on our next video. Bye-bye.